Hey, what's going on, peeps? This Ashen Clips back with another video. It's not Carball, but uh, it is Quick Champions. Uh, I just picked this game up recently, actually, mm, probably about a week ago. Just figured I would get back into shooters a little bit. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, between the ages of 8 and 10, I was playing Unreal Tournament 2003 and 2004, and in 2004, well, Unreal, that is, uh, I was ranked in the top 20 in the world in Instagive Bombing Run and Instagive Capture the Flag, so. Uh, Quake is pretty much the same kind of game as Unreal Tournament, uh, same kind of sci-fi uh, setting unrealistic physics um, really just crazy out there kinds of guns and stuff like that so it's a it's a pretty good pretty good uh, fun time uh, this is Nyx this is who I've been playing as my main character so to speak um, there is plenty of different champ champions to choose from who all have their unique um, passive abilities and active abilities. Nyx can jump off walls as her passive and her active allows her to phase to a different uh, realm of reality entirely which makes her immune to damage and invisible. So it's uh, pretty neat. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get into a match here. Probably do a couple matches for you guys. Just just so you can see uh, what the gameplay is like. Um, I will say before I actually get started that uh, it is a very very fast paced shooter. Um, there is not a whole lot of downtime except for when you die for the most part. So um, it's very fast paced. There's Team Deathmatch, which is 4v4. Um, there's Deathmatch, which is. I think. Uh, six player free for all. If I remember right. And then Insta Gib. Morning, which is basically sunshine. like Deathmatch, but um, you have real guns that can one shot. Prepare your team. And as far as maps go, the maps game. are Three. pretty easy looking in my One. Fight. Uh, scum. They all have their different characteristics and variants. The shadows hide me. Need lost. Yeah, I got double teamed 
again. Quad spawned. Enemy has the quad. Your team has the quad. Pretty much what uh, uh, TM boils down to is just working as a team to kill the other team. And uh, staying grouped as best you can. I'm sure you guys are probably wondering why I'm jumping around so much. It actually. Uh, Actually, uh, I almost had him. I don't think this changes anything. As you can see, my active is very useful. You're all fucked up. Incoming protection. Oh. Caught a rocket with you my back. Fuel up revenge. That's another thing that you have to do a lot is uh, keep an eye on your back, especially in TDM. Your team has the protection. Face it! But you can be sure I'll end it. You are never going to win. Just wanted to free fire the corner there. So I can get fragged. Out here. At least I got a kill out of it. Yeah, they're starting to just group in the spot, so. Got a good amount of damage out on that guy, so. Driving 
them back. There we go. Just wanted to have a teammate out there. On me. Not really sure why I jumped out there actually. Incoming protection. Now you see now you don't oh, yeah. <laughs> winning because I planned it that way. This protection is Enemy has the protection. Scum. Chill here, wait for the armor. Impressive. Impressive. Uh, got a lot of damage out on him. Probably should have just left that fight, honestly, since he had uh, since you he win. protection, which also um, reduces the damage you take pretty significantly. I think actually more than armor. I did pretty well though, it's third on my team. Check and see what, this, what the actual stats turned out. Got 12 medals, which isn't bad. 23 kills. And 12 lightning gun kills. Lol. So it was 23 and 15. So pretty solid. Um, Joe. Jew. Joe. Whatever. That guy. <laughs> Put 23 and 8, which is really impressive. There was only one person on the other team that went positive, so... That's actually the first um, TDM I've had that has gone to the frag limit, which is 75. Usually the match times out before a team gets anywhere close to 75. Pretty happy with how I did in that match. I was sticking to lightning gun a lot because there was a lot of wide open spaces, and you have much more. Uh, you have a much higher chance of connecting with an opponent and dealing damage with the lightning gun compared to something like the shotgun or the rocket launcher or the rail gun. Although I did hit that one guy like three times with the railgun. Which would have killed him had he not had protection, but... Vote now! You know the TDM looks like. Uh, I don't think any of these guys are from the last one, so... And if you guys are curious too, you can customize your faceplate and icon um, for your profile, as well as actually customize the individual champions with uh, certain different um, armors and aesthetics. Morning, and stuff sunshine. Like that. I'll show you guys that after this match. Getting murdered out here. This is Blood Covenant, which is also another wide open, pretty wide open map. And sometimes people just screw around and warm up. 
So, unless someone shoots me, I'm not gonna shoot him back. Suicided. That's pretty funny. Glad I had him with that rocket. Enemy has the quad. Must have gotten health or something. Enemy has the quad. Because uh, it was shoddy against the lightning gun, and I would have lost 100%. Because lightning gun is consistent damage. Shoddy, which has a, a reload timer, quote unquote. Sure, I'll end it. I didn't know there was a guy behind me. Where am I? Never going to win. Uh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, 
trash like you for years. They're dropping down behind people is super strong. He's driving them back. Oh, that was a good shot. Just did a 180 to kill that guy. Gum. I'll start this, but you can be sure I'll end it. What happens to people who pick a fight with me? They'll see it as a sign of weakness. Drop on me. Quad spawn. Your team has the quad. What's on this? Five bolts. Just got shot at. Attacking someone that has protection is a really bad idea. Better. Uh, 
terrible with my scrub. Incoming quad. Shadows hide me. You win. Yep. I went ahead and phased there because he used his ult on me. Well, no, he didn't use his ult. He hit me with the uh, trample. Uh, XD. Psst. Wow. That's a lot of salt. And you have uh, in game player levels too, as you guys can see. Which uh, just gives you another way to get more customizable items. Uh, as you play. So, because every time you level up, you either get a backpack, a chest, or. A requiem, or uh, no, a uh, reliquary, I mean. So these are the loot boxes that you can get to uh, unlock the customizable stuffs. And as you guys can see, you got sets and you got headgear with attachments, and you got uh, body armor with attachments. And like, like armor with detachments, and then you got your vanities, which are just uh, neat, neat thingies that you can add to your character. And then you also have shaders for your weapons, and you can acquire different looking weapons. Uh, and uh, uh, you have lore that you can acquire from doing matches, which basically just delves into the backstory on each of the different champions. And finally, there's runes, which give you special challenges that give you favor, and then uh, if I were to complete all these runes for this particular uh, deity or whatever, gods, elder god, uh, get a special skin. So, or uh, not a skin, but a special shader. So that's pretty neat. Lots of lots of stuffs that you can play for to to uh, just have more of a fun time with the game. Um, let's see. Settings uh, settings are pretty decent. So a fair amount of customizable uh, aspects to the settings, like what kind of crosshair you want and stuff like that. And controls, there's mouse sensitivity, uh, yaw and pitch, which I know what pitch is, I'm not sure about yaw. And then I actually am using a little bit of mouse acceleration because it helps um, when you're using a weapon like the lightning gun which obviously does more damage the more accurate you are because it's a constant stream of potential damage so the more you uh, the more you hit your opponents the more damage you do. Um, sensitivity cap I put at twice what my mouse sensitivity is uh, which has been working out really well for me so far and then you got your video settings and uh, your audio. Uh, I have no idea what HRTF is. It's, but, yep. Yeah. Um, I think I went over pretty much everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, there is daily challenges that you get, which give you favor, which is the main currency. 
and then you can use the favor to either unlock champions or uh, buy backpacks. I have just been using it to buy backpacks because there really isn't. I'm not super interested in playing any of the other champions yet, so uh, that's what I've been using my favor for personally. Um, and then there's also daily login rewards that you can get for literally just starting up the game. See, actually, my uh, daily challenges actually just reset, so. And then my daily reward resets in an hour and 20, and I get 200 platinum. Platinum is one of the other currencies that can be used to buy champions, I think. Let me check. Yeah. So. You look tasty. We'll find out how to see. Um, yeah, so you can use platinum to buy champions and. Shards. I think shards are mostly just currency you get if you happen to open a backpack or something and you get an item you already have, it gives you shards. And then you can actually use shards to uh, purchase chests. And then you can actually use platinum to purchase uh, reliquaries. So. It is, uh, it's pretty fun. Pretty fun and in-depth. I've uh, been enjoying playing it personally, so. Um, if you guys want to check it out, the starter edition is 5 bucks. Otherwise, it is actually free to play as well, so. If you don't want to spend any money on it, you know, why not give it a try? Uh, I would recommend it, because it's uh, super fun. Um, honestly, the movement mechanics and stuff like that do take a little while to get it get the hang of but uh, beyond that it is uh, it is pretty fun as you guys probably noticed from uh, the matches I did I was I was enjoying myself shooting people in the face and getting shot in the face and the ass <laughs> uh, but um, yeah that'll do it for me for this video guys uh, if you liked it feel free to poke the like button uh, follow me on Twitter, feel free to join my Discord, um, I also made a Instagram, um, feel free to sub if you're new, share the video and or the channel if you want, and I will see you guys in the next one, later.